In this video, I wanna tell you about Therium's Aristotle Health Test. So this is a test you can take at home. You get a few drops of blood, put it onto a piece of paper, send it to a laboratory for analysis, and then it produces a health report. So I'm gonna outline what is the benefit of this, how do people do it, and what is the mission at Therium? This test is applicable to so many people, for people who maybe aren't feeling the best and wanna get well and wanna understand what's going on in their body and what they can do about it, or maybe it's an athlete who really wants to dial in and optimize everything from their nutrition, their sleep, their lifestyle, make modifications so that they're really performing at the top of their game. Or if you're like me, you just wanna be as healthy as possible for as long as possible, this test is so applicable and so practical to make massive impact into your life. Well, there's three major components to our test. First of all, there's the 12 key health domains. These are giving you an overall picture of what's happening in your body. Um, and there's a lot of details on how we calculate this score. It's not just peer to peer, which I find really cool. So it's not just comparing me to other men in Michigan who have a desk job between 30 and 35 years old. The average American isn't very healthy, so I don't really wanna be compared to that group. I wanna understand where I'm at and where I can go. And then I wanna know how I can go there. And that's how we've designed the 12 key health domains. It looks at molecular potential. So it identifies what's going on in your body and where you can potentially be. So it gives you a really good practical understanding of where you're at. So sometimes people that are super healthy, you know, they're a little bit surprised because it's like, oh, you scored average in this. Well, it's, it's not necessarily average because it's not just comparing against demographics that are similar to your age group, sex, and uh, work life, and all that kind of stuff. Stuff, it's actually comparing you against if there were a hundred versions of you version number 100 is as healthy as can be eating right sleeping right exercising right all those things right so that version is your potential of what you can get up to the person who's living perfectly that's version number 100 of you version number one of you is a couch potato doesn't do anything just eats lots of junk food and watches Netflix all day and so this comparison is identifying where you exist on that spectrum of your potential which I find to be immensely practical rather than just understanding how do I compare to others in my peer group. So if this looks interesting to you, you can actually get a ton of great information at this link for totally free. It has a sample guide, Dr. Jasby's book for totally free, and you can schedule a consult once you put your email in one-on-one -on -one with Dr. Jasby. If you go to this link on the screen, which is www.therio.me slash guide and you'll get access to all these resources about the test, how it works, as well as a consult with the founder and developer, Dr. Jasby. So if you're interested, go to this link. So the second thing you're gonna notice on this test is the personalized protocols. Now we understand like a little bit about what's happening in the body. We understand our 12 key health domains, our score in liver, brain, gut, uh, inflammatory, all those things. Well, what can I do about it? How can I get better? And this is really the meat where you wanna dial into the test and take super seriously because if you do these things in this protocol that have been vetted to work for you, you will feel better and stick to it. Give it a couple weeks, couple months. I promise you, you're gonna feel better than you have in a very long time. These personalized protocols include supplements, interventions, lifestyle modifications, such as you know yoga, breathing, meditation, whatever, all sorts of stuff. Um, it, if absolutely essential, we'll make recommendations to drugs. We're not predisposed to make recommendations to drugs, but if it's absolutely essential for somebody's health and is important, it will produce that as a recommendation. However, we do not prescribe drugs. We are not medical practitioners. So we will work with your physician and explain the justification of why this drug might be needed, but that's pretty rare. Most people do not give get drug recommendations. Most of it is gonna be more natural in that we're looking at supplementation, diet, lifestyle, exercise, sleep, all those things. But this is gonna give specifics on what supplements you wanna take at what amount, what amount of milligrams, what time of day if necessary. And so the other cool thing is that we don't sell any of it, right? So we make zero money on anything you do after the test, which gives us zero bias. We're really just looking for the thing that is gonna make you feel the best, the fastest. 
And the other thing with these personalized protocols, how do we come up with those? Because there's so many different uh, supplements and things out there. Well, what we've done and what Dr. Jasby, Dr. Moore have done that's a little bit different is a process called digital twinning. So they have gone out into the literature and have roped together thousands and thousands and thousands of studies and bank that. So now they have all these studies on different things like vitamin D, vitamin C, uh, diet, sleep, and all the different like times and uh, ways to do it. And they understand how these things might affect markers in the body, your metabolites, which are the things that we're testing. So they take all those things and they say, okay, this has this effect, this has this effect, this has this effect. And there's a very complex uh, weaving of that. But essentially what they do is they take your data that we just tested, they put that into a simulation and they simulate it thousands of times to see which one of these things are going to be the most beneficial for you. And we do partner with clinics in this regard too. So, you know, some things people, the general public might not have as much access to. Average person might not even know about um, IV vitamin C, for example. So when we work with clinics, we weight things that they have a little bit with a higher priority. Um, not if it's not the best thing, but if it is the best option, it'll then make that recommendation back to your clinic if you're working through a physician who gave this to you. So that way you can even get maximized results because now you're working with somebody that has access to things that the general public might not. Third thing that you're going to see on this test is the metabolic health associations. So these are compiled from the Human Metabolome Project and are correlations from the metabolites to certain disease states. So this is data that currently exists out there um, and there's certain profiles, right? So like type two diabetes or Alzheimer's or dementia or whatever will have a certain molecular fingerprint on the body. So we can essentially identify that fingerprint. We're not identifying the finger itself and saying, okay, this person's body is acting in such a way based on the human metabolome project that it has this predis predisposition or that it's acting in this way. And so we can get really detailed into what might be happening in the body based on this data that we have. And again, this is not a diagnostic tool. So this is not a diagnosis. This is not telling you you have this thing. Um, a lot of the, the research that Dr. Jasby, Dr. Moore, and Dr. Judith have done is on early detection and they did use a mass spec, which is the equipment that we're using in this, but this test is not a diagnostic, but it can serve as a good compass. So uh, where do I go from here? What should I talk to my doctor about? And we are also happy to train your physician if they are unfamiliar with this test, we will walk them through it. We'll show them everything about the science and what we're doing and how we're coming up with these results. That metabolic health association list, you're gonna be looking for things that say 90%, 100% or if you take the test on a quarterly or uh, two times a year, you're going to look for trends. So what changed? Did my percentage go up? And that kind of thing. And as always, you are welcome to do a consult with one of our biologists. If you got the full report plus the consult, you already get that for free with the test. However, if you would like to book a consult, uh, you can do that on our website as well so that you can ask questions and get a better understanding of your test. Now here is the therapy sample collection kit. Uh, depending on what, when you're watching this video, yours might look a little bit different, but all the components inside this kit are gonna be the same. So let's open it up so I can show you exactly what you're gonna be getting. The first thing you're gonna notice is this stop card. This is gonna tell you to register your test. So each test has a unique barcode with it. So you're gonna to wanna to find that in the box. I'm gonna show you a place where you can find that. Then you're gonna go out, go to here and fill out your survey. That is gonna tell us that your blood sample belongs to you as well as contextualize some of the results because we asked some questions about your work environment, uh, prior history, and that just feeds into this test so that we have a better understanding of exactly uh, uh, what we can do to help you. So that's the first thing. You can either go and scan this QR code or you can go to www.therio.me slash register. And that is where you register your test. That's really the first thing you're gonna wanna do. Uh, the other things that you're gonna notice is that there will be some instructions. So it does come with instructions on exactly what to do. Uh, but you're gonna notice these are called lancets. These are the things that actually prick your finger to draw some of the blood. Um, 
and this is like the alcohol swab and then the um, the band-aid. So after you know you've dropped your blood on the paper, you can apply that. And this is the important piece here. Again, yours might look a little bit different than this. It's all functionally the same. So this is the actual filter paper where we're going to apply our blood spot. And so there's two parts to this. One is a card with your unique barcode on it. This is what you use to register your test. This is super important because if people send it back to our laboratory and we don't know where it came from, we don't know whose it is. So it's very important that you register your test as well as fill out the full survey so we can take can contextualize your results better. This is the piece that is actually gonna collect your blood. So this is where you uh, will drop your four to six drops of blood onto. Notice that these little circles do need to be completely filled out. You don't need to fill out this whole thing. Just make sure that those circles are totally full with blood. Now we have another video that, that has further instructions that we'll have a link to. Um, I'm just kind of giving you a brief uh, showdown on, on what this is. These are the lancets, so you take the little clear tip off, you get your hand warm if you have difficulty drawing blood, and then you're gonna prick the side of your middle finger, and if necessary, you know, you can squeeze it a little bit, massage it so that the blood comes out and fills up this circle here. From there, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it back into its sleeve. We're gonna let it dry for three hours. That's gonna turn it into a dry blood spot. From there, you have this metallic envelope. This is what you're gonna send your sample back to our laboratory in. Now, there is a pouch in here you do not wanna take out. This helps to preserve the blood sample, and it just looks like one of those normal pouches, but don't take that out, leave that in there. Um, and then after this is dried for three hours, we're gonna go ahead and put it into here, seal it up, and then you should have a label or an envelope uh, to, to send this back in. This can be sent in a standard envelope with standard postage to our laboratory, uh, which we can provide the, the address for. It's in Phoenix. And this is what you're gonna be sending it back in. So for example, I have an envelope here that I could just drop this into and have it sent off to our laboratory. But you should have a label or some sort of envelope uh, that, that is, uh, has the address already on it and ready for you. So a couple of common questions about testing people have is A, do I discontinue my supplement reg regimen and other things that I'm doing for the sake of taking this test? I would say it, it depends a little bit on what you wanna do. First of all, if you have a prescription or things that are essential for your health, please continue to do them. If you wanna start from scratch and get an understanding of uh, what supplements might be best for where you're currently at, then you can discontinue your regular supplement regimen, keep your essential things such as your prescriptions from your doctor and that type of thing, but you can discontinue for a few days take the test, and then we'll make recommendations on the supplementation. However, if you are satisfied with your current supplement regimen, you can just keep going. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna give a snapshot that says, okay, they're already doing this because we're seeing it in their blood. Uh, we're gonna contribute these, maybe take away a couple of these. So if you want something like that from the test, because metabolomics is very dynamic, so we can see what's going on in the body with changes. You know, Even after nine months, there can be some pretty radical changes in the body, depending on what people have been doing in their lifestyle. Maybe they start traveling more, maybe they start exercising more, eating better, whatever, right? It's very dynamic. So um, it, you can uh, just continue with your regular regimen and, and that is how this test is designed to be done. However, if you would like something that's a little bit more, hey, I, I kind of want to start over here, then maybe discontinue for a few days, take the test and, and then recontinue once you get our, our personalized protocols back. The other question people have is about fasting, about how long should I fast before taking the test or should I fast? Uh, so the answer is an eight hour fast. Usually first thing in the morning, prior to eating, prior to your coffee is the best time to take the test because you only need eight hours since your last meal or intake of uh, some sort of beverage. Water is fine, but other beverages and food, you want it to be at least eight hours since that. So first thing in the morning is the best time to collect your blood and put it onto the sample. And 
Again, if this is something you think is going to help you, maybe you're not feeling so well, you want to get well, you want to optimize, you want to stay healthy, whatever it is, we have a bunch of free stuff for you. So there's a free sample report so you can see exactly what is going to be on this report, what you can expect. There is the Dr. Jasby's book, which outlines the, the whole thing, which tells you all about the test, how it works, what are the methods, a little bit of the science. And so you can get that book totally free by going to the link on the screen here. And then the third thing you're going to get once you enter in your email on that link there is a one-on-one -on -one consult with Dr. Jasby that you can sign up for. So yes, Dr. Jasby is available for consults. You just go to this link, therio.me slash guide, and you'll get access to that sample report, Dr. Jasby's book, as well as a free consult with the developer and founder Dr. Jasby. The last thing that I want to share with you is, hey, you might be interested in our mission and what we're doing. We're trying to change the landscape of health, become a standard of testing, get a really good granular understanding of what is actually working for people, not just broad brushstroke approach, but individualized and very scientifically rigorous in understanding what is going to get this person the best, the quickest, without any bias on what they do, because we make no money on the therapies or anything thereafter. So, um, if you want to understand more about the mission of what we're doing, I highly recommend checking out our YouTube channel where we have hours and hours and hours of information on different subjects that you can peruse and find what appeals to you the most. It does a little bit heady at times. We do try to uh, talk in layman's terms as well, but there's a lot of science there and a lot of good information. Uh, so you can go over to our YouTube channel, which you should see on the screen right here, which is www.youtube.com slash at symbol Therium test. And uh, we have a bunch of really good information on there. We'll also be compiling a blog and some writings and different things. So uh, keep an eye out for those. But thank you so much again. Honored to be able to work with you guys. This test has been very impactful in my own life. I'm really sold on the mission and what we're doing. I, I derive so much value and fulfillment from doing meaningful work that is truly helping people. And I'm honored that you're a part of it as well. So thank you.